Well, hello and welcome everybody. Hey, in this video, what I'm going to do is share with you a couple of formulas that, well, they're secret. At least they were to me a secret until here very recently. What the formulas will do is they'll help you to find the radius of any circle that's inscribed in a triangle. So that includes right triangles and of course, non-right triangles. And I think this is super cool because, I mean, I've been teaching high school math and well, for almost two decades, and I did uh, community college math for 10 years. I'm still learning stuff about math all the time, even at this level. I think that's really cool. There's always something to discover, and that's pretty fun to me. Anyway, let's dive into the first case right here with the right triangles. Let's go ahead and name the sides A, B, and C. And the first fact we have to draw upon is that uh, the radius is perpendicular to the side at the point of tangent C. So I can construct the radius here and here to side A and B as well as C and they make right angles. And let's go ahead and label that radius R. So let's see if we can re-express these sides in terms of R and maybe come up with some expression that's easy to use. So let's talk about that uh, vertical distance right there. If we slide that across, that distance right there is also the radius because we have a square. Well, that makes the side A minus R and R because A minus R plus R would just be A. There we go, that's good to go. So now let's do the horizontal distance and if we slide that down, drop it down, we see that this distance right here is R, so the side would be R plus B minus R, right? So this whole side right there. All right, so now the next fact that we're gonna have to use is that, well, when tangent lines intersect those segments from the point of tangency to the intersection, well, they're congruent. So, for example, right here, um, we have A minus R on the left. Well, this side would also be A minus R. Both of these are tangent to the same circle, so their segments are congruent. And the same is the case for B minus R. So now what I've got is that side C is also equal to A minus R plus B minus R. So since that's true, I could go ahead and write an equation and simplify it. Right, and let's go ahead and solve for R. So we're gonna move the two R to the left and the C to the right side, just so that we end up with the, well, signs will work out a little bit prettier. And we can find the radius by just the short legs, A plus B minus C divided by two, that's the radius. That is a really cool, slick formula. I don't know who says slick anymore, but you know, <clears throat> it's pretty neat, right? That's a clean formula. I think that is super, super cool. So now, let's dive into the case for the non-right triangle, shall we? Um, same fact as before, the perpendicular, uh, the radius is perpendicular to the sides at the point of tangency, so we're gonna construct our uh, radii like that, and they're all perpendicular. Now let's go ahead and name our sides. We've got uh, vertices A, B, and C, and the opposite sides A, B, and C like that, and we're gonna say the center of the circle is O, as in origin, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to um, find some expression that relates the radius to parts of this triangle, right? So it's not a right triangle, it makes it a little trickier, but we're gonna use area. So check this out. See this triangle right here? Triangle BOC? Well, I know its area would be one half base times height, so that's one half of the height, which is R, times the base, which is side A. All right, so angle, triangle BOC, its area is one half R times A. Let's do the same thing with two other triangles right here. So I've got triangle BOA, all right? BOA is once again, one half base times height. The height is the perpendicular distance to the base. So the height here is R, the base is AB. And let's do it once again for angle AOC. So AOC is one half R times side B. All three of those triangles add up together to make the area of the entire triangle ABC, as you can see. All right, so let's go ahead and say, uh, write our equation. So the area of triangle ABC, the big triangle, is equal to the three smaller triangles, right? So that'd be one half RB plus one half RC plus one half RA. We can simplify that. We can factor out a one half R. I'm gonna put the R first times A plus B plus C. <clears throat> so the area is equal to R times one half of the perimeter. Do you see A plus B plus C would be the perimeter. So R, if we solve for R, multiply both sides by two, divide by perimeter, twice the area divided by the perimeter is the radius. 
twice the area divided by the perimeter is the radius for a non-right triangle. For a right triangle, A plus B, so the legs minus the hypotenuse divided by 2 is the radius. I think those are super, super cool. I hope you really did enjoy this. I had a really good time putting it together. If you did, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff the cool kids are doing. Check us out once a week. I post a math problem just for fun, kind of like this. And if you're a math teacher looking for some things you can use in your classroom to engage students, save you a ton of time, really get them having a good time learning math, I've got a website and a teacher pay teacher store. All the links are in the description. And until next time, I hope you have a great day.